certified most accurate forecast from WMBF First Alert Meteorologist Robert Whitehurst. That warm weather continues here this afternoon despite some increase in clouds. So a lot of 80s. Myrtle Beach right now, 82 degrees, 80s through Florence and Darlington County. We'll continue to keep some clouds around tomorrow, but the warmth is not going anywhere. It's another round of upper 70s and 80s as we head through the afternoon. A very mild morning as well, only dipping down into the middle to upper 60s. Pretty close to our average high this time of the year. That's where we start the day, so it's warm from start to finish. Eventually, those clouds will lead to some showers and storms thanks to this developing storm system expected to produce Quite a bit of severe weather tonight and again tomorrow through the Midwest. Heads our ways. We headed to Wednesday, but our threat of severe weather looking pretty slim thanks to an early arrival of those showers and storms through the first half of the day. Doesn't really allow the temperatures to climb much. A little less fuel for any storms as we go through Wednesday. We start here tonight with the increase in clouds as we head throughout Tuesday. Rain chance is slim, but we will see mostly cloudy skies. It may be turning overcast. Very few breaks in the clouds as we head into the evening. And then as we move into early Wednesday, going to watch for some showers and storms. It's likely mid to late morning. Our best coverage. It's not an all day rain and not all of us will see it. It's kind of scattered about through the first half of the day. But notice some of these showers and storms developing. This is closer to lunchtime and it's out in a hurry. A few hours there, some rain quickly clearing. In fact, some of your skies arrive. It's early as 3 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so it's focused through the morning. Rapid improvements. That's it for our rain chances here as we head through the week. Threat of severe weather looking very low for our area and a little bit higher off to our west or off to our east where those storms arrive a little later in the day. A little more fuel for those storms. Our area currently sitting outside of that threat for severe weather. Rain totals really depend on if you get underneath one of the storms or not because not everybody will see them. If you get underneath one, maybe half inch of rain, others less than a quarter inch of rain. Certainly not a lot from this system, but just a couple hours there of rain chances early Wednesday. Something we all see big drop in temperatures as that system clears. I mentioned it last week. We would see much colder air filter in and there's no changes there. Starts on Thursday and lingers through the weekend and looking for afternoon highs to be stuck in the middle 60s as we head through the weekend morning time lows. Yeah, that's some 30s. As we <laughs> the weekend, it is much colder yeah. compared to what we've had the last couple of days with 80s. Yeah, like, yeah spring is here. Spring is here. Yeah. Eh, maybe Not we'll see. Really You'll like it as we go to the just weekend. for a second. Although I'm very happy. I like the trend that we're seeing midweek rain sunny yeah, on sunny. the weekend. Yeah, that's the good news for the Let's weekend. Switch it. Let's it's switch sunny. it up. There's no rain. Yeah, it's remember on that kind of Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. Time frame. Let's do that. Let's yeah. keep that going. Right. <laughs> if you don't like the cold, already starting to see our next warming trend late next week. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. thanks, Robert.